Okay, there's the tank right there, and you can see I have um, my in and out, which then come down here below uh, to these this piping right here. Um, on the left, we have water going to the sump. On the right, we have water going back to the tank. Inside the uh, sump, we have our mechanical filtration in the back. I have a K2 um, micro K2 filter bed fluidized filter bed and those are specially designed uh, uh, wheels wagon wheels that will hold bacteria and uh, create a high surface area uh, to clean the water um, I have a little bit of uh, protection here another mechanical barrier my next stage is the um, uh, heaters for the tank and those I have to kind of adjust to get my uh, exactly 80 degrees within the tank 80 degrees Fahrenheit um, inside, this is kind of my refugium, uh, poor man's refugium. I have um, some alkaline uh, rock in here to add some hardness to the water. Uh, and this is kind of where I put any, any chemicals that I need to uh, uh, adjust the tank with uh, into that area. I also have any overflow plants that I get up top. I'll, I'll just put them down here until I figure out what I want to do with them. Um, and then I have my uh, return down here. And then this is uh, about 400 gallons per hour uh, pump continues running uh, and then that goes back up into the tank um, you see another tube coming up and around I have that out of the picture but that goes back in here um, and I can kind of circulate water and I have a little kind of carbon canister I can put on the end of that so that I can either put tank uh, water directly back into the tank and then divert some flow through that carbon filter so that's my sump for this tank and uh, Always a, always a challenge.